We're in the end game now. God of War Ragnarok has some post-game content and today we're gonna break it all down so you don't miss anything. This video is obviously going to contain content spoilers, so enter at your own peril, let's go. Let me know in the comments if I have missed anything. And so again, full spoiler warning here. If you haven't finished the game, I would come back to this video later. I'm not gonna tell you the events of the main story, but I'm also not gonna be holding anything back either. So you have been warned, let's go. I put this into roughly like an order of events that you should try and tick off, right? Like starting from the start and then going to like the grand finale of the end game, if that makes sense. We shall start with Ratatoska's new Idrisil Seeds. Now you will get reference to this as soon as you finish the game, but if you head back to to Sidri's house and talk to Ratatoska, he will give you new Idristil seeds. This will allow you to access areas of the different realms that you were able to access during the story, but then like locked out of. So if there was some kind of reward or chest or something in there that maybe you missed out of, you can actually go back and go grab that stuff from those areas. It does just make fast traveling around a little bit easier as well as you're trying to tick off some of the objectives and things. But there's also different things that you probably missed in those areas as you're just going through the story and the story pushes you through those places. So you can absolutely go there and explore and just kind of enjoy it at a different more chill pace rather than focusing on the story the next is a viking funeral now this is a specific favor that you absolutely should do you will get a quest for this by talking to luda at the shop but if you just go to svartal farm and go to the tavern you'll also just be able to kick this off anyway this quest will end the story of a particular character that you obviously know who i'm talking about if you have played the game but if you haven't i'm just being careful for using certain names in this and i will avoid showing things but it will give you a finale to a particular character that you absolutely should do and this is worth experiencing for yourself so I won't show too much of it here but it does actually roll like the credits afterwards so this is really like the end of the game I would say like the final quest to do but there is a lot more after that. And the first is just like general like favors. Now there is a number of areas in all of the realms that you will have had during the story where people are like, hey, you can go and explore and do random stuff, like whatever you like now. And there's going to be plenty of favors and different like side quests that you will have missed during those times, especially for some of the earlier areas until you get the spear and other like puzzle mechanics that are later access areas that you probably previously couldn't access and open things that maybe you couldn't open before. So getting access to the spear and going back to those areas and finishing off those favors is absolutely worth doing there are tons of them and different things that you will have missed if you check the map on certain areas you can see you know the different collectibles and different things that you've missed in those areas so go back to the realms hunt down and like do the favors that you will have missed vanaheim is actually huge it's worth pointing out there is a ton of things to do in vanaheim so i'd probably like go to vanaheim and try and tick off some of those pretty quickly and it's also good for like leveling yourself up getting that um upgrades and the upgrades to your axe and your blades as we start getting into some of the more harder challenges like the Muspelheim challenges. Now, this is like very similar to 2018 God of War. There are these challenges that you can do and there is like an initial set of challenges that you can do to unlock a chest. And then after that, there's a final six challenges to do. So when you go back there, you could do these like during the game as well. You don't have to do these at the end of the game. Some of these things you can do during the game. Some of them you can't. But if you go back to Muspelheim and do these final challenges, you'll get some different rewards as well as upgrade pieces to upgrade yourself further and unlocks to get. These challenges can be a little tough and they're not as simple I guess as the 2018 ones like they're a lot more you know time based and trying to do things or kill enemies in a certain amount of times and things but they're relatively easy to do the best tip that I can give you is make use of the environment and like throwing things off edges and that kind of stuff it absolutely makes these challenges go heaps faster so make sure you're paying attention to that and the move on to the berserker souls this is another combat challenge there are 12 of these bad boys in all of the different realms if you go there and stick the little blade hilt in the gravestone it will summon a boss fight for you to defeat there is some interesting story elements to these berserker stoles so they are worth doing as well and they are relatively easy these are kind of expected that you would do them during the main game whereas the muspelheim challenges aren't so some of these berserker soul fights are relatively easy to do especially at like the end game when you like fully upgraded all of your stuff but still worth doing still get good rewards and all of that good stuff the next is kind of a big blanket term that i'm just going to call like collectibles now throughout the story you will have unlocked a ton of different favors ratted tosca gives you a fair few of these but there's a lot of different favors and things to collect just out in the realms very similar to 2018 things like all the flowers and there is a flower in each of the nine realms there's all these different books and poems and artifacts things to pick up you've also got the lindworms and the stags that ratatoska wants you to get both of these none of these are really combat orientated they're just like collectibles of things to like pick up so that's why they kind of fit all in this umbrella and the last one is odin's ravens now you will have seen these in 2018 and seen them throughout the story there's obviously plenty of these to pick up now some of these show 
show up on the map if you open the map and you look at the different areas especially odin's ravens and things to do there's also the idrasil rifts and that so looking at the map and going to these areas and finding okay i've got like a raven in this area to look up is absolutely worth doing so you can keep track of your progress it's the best way to keep track of that progress rather than using like the actual goal screen as it's not really clear as to you know what's left in each of the realms and what you've got left to find so bringing up the map and actually using that and using the like the list on the left side that tells you you know you've got x amount of percent done and this is here and this is here it's also worth mentioning that if you go like hover the mouse over it's not a mouse but the you know the reticle thingy over like specific areas it'll show you what's in those specific areas so it's not just like the whole realm if you hover over those specific like land masses it'll tell you what's in that area so make sure you're doing that because you might find that you've got like a raven you know off in the middle of nowhere in this one specific realm whereas you were just looking at like the overall map if that makes sense so hopefully that's helpful but the collectibles are probably the one that'll take the most amount of time and i would recommend to just do them as you're you know exploring the realms and doing the favors and the berserker souls like if you're clearing out these bigger challenges just like ticking those smaller things off as you are exploring the realms there's also the hateful mini bosses that You've probably cleared most of throughout the story if you did a little bit of exploring but there are six of those to collect as well it's also worth mashing with odin's ravens to remember to turn to niflheim so you can pick up those chests that are there if you collect all of the ravens that you can pick up all the six chests that are in that location as well the last is kind of a two-parter but it all comes down to dealing with the remnants of asgard and that the quest or the favor is called the last remnants of asgard now these are like another combat challenge similar to the berserker souls that just like appear in all of the different realms after the main story as like they're the remnants of Odin's forces that you'll have to go and clear out in all of the different realms and it will tell you where to find them if you look at the favor it'll say you know roughly where they'll be and they'll also show on the map if you want to actually go and hunt them down specifically you can just do that as well these challenges aren't too bad they're relatively easy to do but they are I don't know I always find these Bifrost enemies just to be like an annoying aspect of the game but like I like the enemy variety in Ragnarok but the Bifrost enemies just like I don't know they irk me I just find them annoying but you can go and do these there's a fair few of these to go and do and they all lead into the final like challenge boss fight thing of the game which is the Nah Valkyrie Queen so this is the new Valkyrie Queen that Freya wants you to go and fight and you could do this before like you don't necessarily need to do everything else on this list first but it's highly recommended that you do because this is a hard fight I personally haven't done it yet like she just wrecks my face and I'm trying to get through all of these and really upgrade myself and find a build that I like before I do actually take on now but it's a tough fight that i would recommend doing at the very end as it really feels like that culmination of you know the story and everything and it's that final moment or you could do the viking funeral last considering the credits do roll after that but i feel like that should happen you know at the end of the actual story rather than going through all of these challenges and things first before you actually do that but that's just my personal opinion and that is basically everything to do in the end game of god of War ragnarok you can obviously try and get the platinum trophy as well which you'll get you know most of the way there by doing all of this stuff anyway but it's worth pointing that out i am probably going to do an end game build for god of War ragnarok once i've figured out what my like nah valkyrie queen build is going to be so let me know if you're interested in that in the comments down below as well thank you guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day.